Hello everyone, I am Mai from Scratch Team. Today, I want to show you how to make a game of Pong in Scratch. This is a kind of game where you have a paddle and you are trying to stop a certain object from touching the bottom of the screen. And yes, at the end of this tutorial, we'll be able to create your own game like this and where you can design it however you want. And I will show you how to add more levels and more. Start! So first, select the object that will happen in your game. You can just click this button that says select a sprite and click select. And you can choose any object you want. It could be a heart or a puffer fish or a star or really anything. You can also choose a bowl. I will do that. And let's pick a scene. You can hover your mouse over this button that says select by drop and click select and choose absolutely anywhere where you want your game to go. I thought maybe I would choose the bot walk. And now let's make this object move. In the motion category, move 10 steps. You can pull this block out, move 10 steps and by clicking on that, the object will move. So I go to the control menu. Control, select forever. The ball will move here until it is the wall and gets stuck. You go to the motion, select if on edge bounce. So if you put this block in the loop forever, the ball hits the wall, it will pop out. In the movement category, there is a direction block. Motion, select point in direction sprite is pointing at 90. Enter another number such as 45. So the ball is directed at the angle of 45 degrees. I would choose events, choose when clicked, and press the top green flag button. Do you see the object moving around? Let's add a paddle that will follow it to a certain position. Motion, select set X to 10. Sensing, select mouse X and drag it into the set X block. Control, select forever. Let's put it on the loop forever. Select events, select when clicked. You see that move the mouse to the left to the right. And it is now. The object goes through the paddle when it is it. Go to the control menu and drag the block out. Select control, choose if then. How can we know if the object collided with the paddle or not? In the sensing sensor list, select touching mouse pointer and click the paddle from the menu so the object will connect to the paddle. You can choose the category of motion, select motion, choose turn decrease to rotate 180 degrees.
You can track a moving block. We can move 15 steps so that the ball moves a little away from the paddle. We need to select control, choose forever, put in the loop forever, and now we are full. I put a 0.5 second wait block here. Select control, choose wait seconds, after moving so we can wait for it, and let it move a little bit away from paddle. If you add some random sampling to it just now, You can move to select operator, pick random, and instead of each time the ball rotates 180 degrees, it can rotate between 170 and 190 degrees. If you don't hit the ball but just fall to the south figure how to finish the game, you can choose to add your own project. Select the selected line and drag it to the bottom of the screen. If the ball touches the line, the game is over.